Hi folks, sorry I can't be here today. Mr. Ditlevson is covering in my absence. I am chaperoning my daughter's fourth grade field trip to the bowling alley today. Our learning targets this afternoon are to be able to determine a theme or a central idea of a text and analyze how that theme was developed over the course of the text and then also be able to compare and contrast the structure of two or more texts and analyze how those different structures contribute to the overall novel's meaning. So basically you guys are taking those different genres and trying to figure out how do those genres tie in to the theme or your overall understanding of the outsiders. We talked in class already last week and this week about moving from Countdown, which is a multi-genre novel, and trying to transform the outsiders into that same thing. So remember we had Countdown, which is a novel that tells Franny's story, but Deborah Wiles, the author, also included different genres to help paint a bigger picture of that novel. So she included things like the duck and cover propaganda, which tried to teach kids how to protect themselves in case of nuclear attack, just like the kids in the book had to. Um, she included information about the Freedom Riders because Franny's big sister was doing some stuff associated with the Freedom Riders. And then she included a genre of the Nancy Drew book cover because Franny was trying to sleuth out the mystery to her sister's stuff, um, just like Nancy Drew would try to solve a mystery. So your goal, remember, is to make the outsiders into a multi-genre style. You are going to find three different genre artifacts. They do not have to be from Countdown. They can be totally unique to the outsiders. In fact, they probably shouldn't be from Countdown at all because that book isn't quite the same as the outsiders and wouldn't connect in the same way. For example, I wouldn't want to include um, Pete Seeger, the folk singer. I wouldn't want to include his biography in the outsiders because Pete Seeger has nothing to do with the outsiders, but maybe I want to include a biography about Paul Newman because he was specifically mentioned in the outsiders instead. Once you've found or created your genres, you need to be able to answer either of these questions. How does this genre connect to the outsiders? Or why would the author include this genre artifact in the outsiders? The grading for the paper again will be on having those three genres so making sure that it shows an obvious connection to the outsiders make sure that it's original or well chosen and that it steps up to the challenge of an advanced project and does it have things spelled correctly the other piece of the grading is on the presentation itself for the presentation you need to make sure that you've used appropriate eye contact you were adequately loud and you clearly pronounced things and then you needed to have presented all three genre artifacts within the four to five minutes that you're allotted and then include a MLA cited um, works cited page. So today we're going to spend our time getting our genres organized and getting our presentation practiced. Those are really the big things that should come out of today. You should have at this point already signed up for your presentation day. Um, remember, you can find that if you go into Google Classroom, and if you click on any of these documents, you'll find the multi-genre signups. And so it looks like we've still got a couple of spots open on Wednesday, so we need some more people to make sure that they add their name into that spot there. But otherwise, you should be signed up, and you should be able to start preparing for your presentation. Remember that we'll be presenting in stations. Each presenter is going to have access to a Chromebook during their presentation. We'll have eight to nine presenters per day, and each presenter gets a maximum of five minutes to present their courageous leader to two or three classmates. When the timer rings, then all the students that were watching are going to get up and rotate to a new presenter, and then the presenter is going to have a new small group to present to for another round. We'll continue doing that, doing that during the hour. What you'll be presenting during that four to five minutes, you'll want to state out loud what your artifact is, or what your genre is, and two, how the genre artifact connects to the outsiders, or why Essie Hinton should include the genre artifact in a multi-genre version of the outsiders. And then you can share each of your genres. As you're presenting, as you're practicing today, I want you to make sure that you're using appropriate eye contact, that you're speaking loud enough, and that you are clearly pronouncing the words as you're practicing. Also make sure that you have timed it. Can you present all three genres within the four to five minutes? 
Four minutes is the minimum your presentation should be. Five minutes is the maximum your presentation should be. Mr. Ditlifson is going to share with you guys an organizer to help you get your work organized. This should help you make sure that you've got everything ready to go for the presentation tomorrow. Which brings us to what we're doing for class today. So step one, if you have not already turned in your genres and your work cited to Google Classroom, you're going to want to take care of that today. And that can again be found if you go into Google Classroom. The first thing listed in our class is the multi-genre project. If you click the open button, that'll bring you to your assignment. And way down at the bottom, there's a spot for you to add your work. So you can see I'm logged in right now as Andrew. Here's his work cited. He needs to spend some time working on that, so I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then if he's adding something from his drive, he can go straight down here and click Add Google Drive. Or if he's adding a link, there's a spot to add a link from places. A lot of sites will have links that people can copy. So here's Share, and there's a link. I'm going to go ahead and copy it and paste it over here, add that link, and now that would be a way to turn in that genre. For the Works Cited page, the easiest way to do it is to add that EasyBib add-on. So I clicked Get Add-ons, and here's EasyBib right here, or I could search for it. So I'm going to click Free, and I want to sign in as Andrew. I want to click Allow. And now, up here, you can see that he's got an EasyBib add-on. He can go ahead and add that piece over here. If he is on a website, let's say he's on something about Dr. King, and it's this site here, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And then when he's over here, if he clicks on Website, he can paste that URL, search for it, select it, and this is all of my fancy in-text citation stuff that I need. So once he's done, he's going to select all of this, delete it, and go ahead and click Add Bibliography to Document. And you can see that it did the right citations for him. Once he's all done, he's going to click on Turn In. He's going to make sure he's signed up for a presentation time, which if he goes under here, let's see, is Andrew listed? Oh, Andrew's not signed up yet, so he's going to want to make sure that he gets signed up. And then he can complete that genre organizer. That's this thing that Mr. Ditlifson is going to pass out. And then his last step really is to spend some time practicing his presentation. So set a timer on a device and start to practice sharing his presentation and aim for that four to five minutes per um, per session. If you should have any questions, please send me an email or come see me right away on Wednesday morning before school. Have a great day!